So you're going to be watching a portion of an episode from The Brady Bunch, <laughs> Season 1. Jan had chicken pox, and, uh... Okay, this is basically what I wanted to talk about. Um, supposedly, all the children, the three boys and the three girls in the Brady Bunch have chicken pox. Now... <laughs> It started out with just one, and then spread to the family. So, it appears that Alice and the mother are making a chart. Now, the year is 1969, and I want to try to talk a little bit about this whole idea of medical charts and schools. But I also want to talk a little bit about how it pertains to the animal world. Let's listen in. Marcia and Cindy had mumps. There. Well, whichever doctor we choose, at least we'll have all the information on all the kids. No, oh, except for poison oak. Now, I know that none of the boys had it. Well, none of the girls had poison oak either. Okay, scratch poison oak. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. How are things in Brady General Hospital? Well, we're uh, still featuring measles. Take a look. What's this? Some kind of wall-to-wall -wall scrabble. Hey, it's a marvelous new idea, but we sure could use your help. What illnesses, diseases do you recall? The doctors have kept records that they can transfer from one to the other. Uh, besides, this is wrong. Now, none of the kids have had the shots for distemper. That's Tiger's column. I figured I might as well keep a record for the vet. Okay, Tiger is a household pet. And Alice and the mother of the Brady Bunch, Carol, decided to include Tiger's record on the chart. Distemper shots. So, I'm going to suggest that usually what happens in the animal world is transferred over into the world of human beings. In other words, if you would like to take your dog to the camp, the kennel master is concerned about certain things. Now, a lot of times, treating dogs is also sort of a little bit like treating kids. And in this show, they refer to the children as kids. And for those of you that don't know it, kids is another term for goat. They never get too specific, as far as I can tell, about children. They always talk about the kids. So, is there a relationship between what we see in the Brady Bunch and what we see in schools? Just what is the purpose of these records? We saw the Brady Bunch 
they were able to create their own little charts. And this is in the late 60s, this show is appearing. Now, as I said, <clears throat> what happens to the dogs can also happen to human beings. All right? And oftentimes, people have the unfortunate expression, I had to put my dog to now children are putting their to well it's not an easy thing to talk about but uh, nevertheless there is a parallel between the animal world and the human world. And this show in particular is causing me to have that uh, feeling about the history of why they have insisted upon having these records like we have seen here. The record for each youth as if the youth is a lot like Tiger in the Brady household. What gives any district the ability or the right to poke around in this particular area. And that's exactly where things have gone amiss in our land. Things that once belonged to families and families alone got transferred over into schools. And I might also add, in that particular uh, focus, or that particular area, the area of education, so-called education, in human sexuality. Once belonged in the home, and then somehow, it got into schools. And now, this is a frightening area for many parents. But equally frightening are the charts. And I'm not necessarily talking about mathematical charts that the students face in math class. But these types of charts, now, due to my age, uh, I don't have great recall about the insisting upon these uh, touching your body and then providing your body with some substance, except for when I was growing up, the number one area was polio. That's the only one I remember. But things have gotten really, really far out now, and the charts have expanded, the requirements have expanded, and thus every child or youth appears to be given a chart similar to the chart we're seeing in the Brady Bunch. I guess I'm trying to suggest that in a lot of ways this was predictive programming. That very soon schools 
would be making charts exactly like the Brady family was making at home. Now, the numbers of checks have increased over the years so that for me, I can only remember one that needed to be checked off. But as I brought up into the world some children, not kids, there may have been four that needed to be checked off. And I'm not sure the exact number right now, but I know it's gone bonkers. All right? So, again, I just wanted to share my thoughts on the chart that the Brady Bunch family experienced in this episode in Season 1. As always, I'd like to thank you. And, as always, a double thanks to anybody who gets to the end of my videos. Blessings to you in Christ Jesus. End of video.